describe your Hawthorne journey so far? Yeah, it's been great. Um, what are we now? About 11 and 1. So, um, yeah, I guess to start off with in pre season, uh, cop an injury early um, in the pre season games. Uh, probably set me back a, a little bit, yeah, which was it's not, never ideal. And uh, when you come to a new club, you want to be able to play uh, games early so you can um, get used to the way that the structures and, and the guys around you play as well. So it's it's taken me a few games to, to get hold of that, but uh, feeling pretty comfortable and, and loving the, the time down at uh, Hawthorne. Now, you look the fittest you've been um, for many, many seasons, and from the outside of looking in, you look like you're almost reborn as a player. Is this a fair assessment? Yeah, after uh, copping some injuries in, I think it was the 2010 season and, and having a few operations, it's, it's taken me a while to, to get back to that, um, I guess, body weight and, and fitness levels that I, I need to do to be playing AFL football and, and getting a full pre-season. So as soon as we, uh, we signed and, and done the trade, I was, I was in here three days a week, um, getting the leg strength right and getting the body right to, uh, to start pre-season off um, the best way I could. Now, how much of that was, was your main focus over pre-season? Yeah, that was the main focus, to be honest. Um, coming here two months early, uh, before everyone else got back, um, just to do those little things. So pretty much rebuilding uh, your body stunt from scratch, just doing your, your basic length, strength, and then obviously then developing it onto the football field by doing running and, and football skills and stuff as well. So, yeah, that was the main focus over the break, was, was just trim down, but also just to, to do the basics um, of, of football and, and get the leg strength right. Now, how have you found your form so far this year, especially over the last fortnight? Yeah, it's finally coming, uh, 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 as I was saying before, with the, the scratchiness of the, uh, the start of the pre-season and, and not playing, being able to play games and, and develop that uh, the synergy with the back line. So, yeah, pretty scratchy the first couple of games and, and getting the hang of it. But now um, it's coming second nature, uh, and that's what you want to do is with all the structures and, and game plans you've got, you want to be able to just do that naturally and then think about the game, which I've been able to do for the last two or three weeks and taking the game on, which is my strength. Now we've got Brisbane this week. What kind of challenges does the forward line present, especially with big John O'Brown down there? Yeah, after a good win as well against Geelong, coming back in, in the last quarter. So it's, they're going to be up and about, no doubt about that. So uh, with our nine-day break, yeah, we've played two games at Etihad and come down to our home ground down at Los, Launceston. We're going to have a good break. Uh, we know that we, we've played the ground well and uh, we've had pretty good success against uh, Brisbane down there as well. So... Um, yeah, hopefully Gibbo pulls up from, from injuries and he'll be able to help me out with, with John O'Brown and stuff like that. You've got uh, Jordan Lyle that plays down there as well. So they've got some good targets, but as soon as the ball hits the ground, they've got some real zippy sort of small forwards as well that we've got to be very careful of. Now, um, now this will be your second game as a Hawk at Aurora Stadium. Uh, what are your impressions of the ground? Um, do you enjoy Launceston? Does the club enjoy getting down there? Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, the ground's uh, in immaculate condition. You can hear and run out there with, uh, with runners on, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, a few of the boys didn't like it too early in pre-season with, with Suckers and uh, Ryan Schumacher's doing uh, injuries there, but the ground's beautiful. We obviously played GWS down there, so we didn't get too much of a, a crowd for that game, but you, you think after Brisbane's uh, game on the, on the weekend that we'll hopefully be able to uh, pack out the ground in, in brown and gold. Well, good luck, Brian. Thank you very much, guys.